The cancer epidemic remains a major concern for many countries worldwide. According to the Pan American Health Organization, cancer has remained the lead cause of death in the Americas since 2020. Annually, on February 4th, the world shifts its focus to a common message, cancer awareness. According to family life educator Naomi Granderson, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, like its counterparts, will actively participate in the observation. We have adopted the theme, um, St. Lucia Moves to Conquer Cancer. The reason we've chosen that theme is because we recognize that cancer is so significant and it impacts all of us. We are concerned that um, we talk about cancer all the time, but what are we doing? We need to move. We need to take steps, actionable steps towards reducing our risk for cancer and supporting um, persons who have cancer, the institutions who help persons with cancer. Granderson further explained that the ministry would this year be taking a different approach towards the observance. Persons are being encouraged to participate to the Pledge 5 Challenge for World Cancer Day 2024. We want you to take at least five steps to make a change and to stand in solidarity with persons who have cancer, who has lost a person with cancer. Take responsibility by, you know, um, practicing five healthy habits, you know, no tobacco smoking, better eating, more physical activity, doing your cancer screenings and so on. And, and another thing you can do is uplift five people. Um, another thing you can do is donate $5 to a cancer support agency. Another thing you can do, right, um, walk for five kilometers, and then you, you, you post that walk online, and you tag five friends to do that challenge. So you can take these five steps or do five things, pledge to do it, you know, so that we can work together to reduce our risk for cancer. Senior Medical Officer for Non-Communicable Diseases, Dr. Shana Sir Filbert, has on many occasions described the grim reality caused by the cancer epidemic in St. Lucia. However, on a positive note, Dr. Sir Filbert is praising the recent increase in interest by both the corporate sector and the public in participating in key physical exercise-based activities as the island works towards a healthier nation. We've seen the, the numbers at the walks. You know, we've actually had annual walks so far because we launched in September 2022. And we've seen the numbers, the, 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 the visibility of the, the activities and so on. So we're very happy with that. We're hoping that Senusha Moves is able to raise awareness of the value of physical activity, but not just physical activity, of just general wellness, eating well you know, having proper rest, etc., because all of those things come together to keep us healthy, to keep us fighting um, the non-communicable diseases. The Ministry of Health is also appealing to the corporate sector to encourage and create opportunities for staff to participate in the cancer screening process. Some of the activities for this year's observance are being hosted through a collaboration with organizations such as the St. Lucia Cancer Society. For the Communication Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I'm Santa Justin.